Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this power Pilates workout that will help stretch, strengthen, and elongate your muscles. You will only need a light set of weights. Let's get started. Go ahead and position your legs wide and rotate those legs out just a little bit. Place the arms over the shoulders and lower down in a plie and let's alternate those arms just one at a time, just gently press up. Exhale as you're pressing up and inhale as you lower. Fear not, for I am with you, says the Lord. Be not dismayed. I am your God and I will strengthen you and I will help you and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Yes, I received that, don't you? All right, last one. On this one, what we're gonna do is place the weights in front. Go into a side lunge, and then we're gonna come up and go into a lateral movement. So side lunge, then come up and bring those arms out. So again, lower down, and then exhale, come on up. Let your roots grow down into him, and let your lives be built on the foundation of Jesus Christ, right? And we need God's help for that. So we're asking God to help us to build our lives on His foundation, His truth, right? And through His grace and peace. All right, a few more times. Bring that legs out and lunge and come on up one more. Very nice. Now let's go to the opposite side. Arms in front, step out lunge and then come up again lower down sit down and sit back put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit which is the word of god always be prepared and alert read the word so you know it and then it goes into your heart and flows out of your mouth right All right keep moving with grace and strength. And God is helping us right now as we move through these exercises. Feel those muscles in your legs and in your arms. Now that core is real tight. Navel's toward the spine. All right, feel that side of the shoulders. Let's do that one more time. Lower down and then come up. Great work. All right, this next one, we're gonna bring one leg to the front and lift and lower. As we V the arms out, working those biceps. All right, feel that in your arms. Feel that challenge with that lifting of that leg. Lead a life worthy of your calling. For you have been called by God, right? Each of us have been called by God to do what he's created us to do. And only you can do what God has created you to do, right? So be yourself, right? Imitate Christ in all that you do and allow him to be the Lord of your life. All right, keep moving. You're doing so good. Biceps and legs, nice balance challenge. Core is pulled in and tight. One more. Switch out those legs. Bring the opposite leg out front. This time the arms go up or you can lower them down. Bring them in and out. Lift that leg. The Lord is my shepherd and I have everything that I need, right? When the Lord is the shepherd of our life, we should be content, filled with joy and peace. It doesn't mean we won't have trials, doesn't mean we won't have challenges, but we will have that peace that only comes from Him. All right, feeling this in our biceps and in that leg. Feel that challenge through the core and that stabilization through the rest of that body. Keep moving. One more of these. 
Good job. Okay, on this next one, opposite leg is gonna go out and your arms are going front and lower. So you can either just slide the leg out or lift it up, whichever you wanna do. If we love one another, and we definitely should love one another, what it really says is that God is abiding in you and his love is inside of you as you love one another, right? All right, we'll work in the front of the shoulders and those outer thighs and legs, working on core. Just take everything at your level, right? Everything at your pace. And remember to breathe, right? Sounds so simple, but breathe. And breathe deep from your diaphragm. One more. Now opposite leg, we're changing up the arms. Bring the palms towards one another, bring the arms out, back in. As that leg extends out there, you can slide it out or lift it up. All right, we're practicing this together. You're doing so good. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, right? The author and the perfecter of our faith. All right, working through the chest and the shoulders and the legs, working on core strength and bringing awareness to this body, bringing awareness to our spirit that God is Lord of our life. And with him, we can do all things, right? All right, again, great for the arms and that lower body and your core. And again, like I said, breathe. Focus in on that breathing. One more. Nice work. Coming up next, we will continue stretching and strengthening our body on Shaped by Faith. Go ahead and lower down in a squat. And when you come up, bring the knee up and kick back those weights. So lower down, come up, knee lift, and tricep kick back. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends, right? And we know that Jesus Christ did that for all of us, right? He went to that cross for all of us. He took on all of our sins so that we could live eternally with him. Feeling this in the core and feeling this in the legs and definitely the triceps. So keep moving through this and breathe deep from your diaphragm. All right, last one. Go ahead and stretch those legs out. Okay, pull the belly in and reach to one foot, bring the arm back and then reach to the other. Just take your time with this, just side to side, going into a nice little windmill move. Let us run with endurance. The race God has set before us, right? Run your race. Now don't get ahead of God. I've done that many times. It's not a good place to be. <laughs> God always says, whoa. And he leads me right back where I need to be with him. Just allow God to be God and his timing to be his timing. You just do your part, trust, walk by faith, and just be obedient, right? All right, keep it moving just side to side, working with the windmill. One more, very nice. Now we're transitioning down to the floor. So we're gonna go into a higher plank. So place your hands down directly under the shoulders and you can bring the knees back, hold and modify, or you can bring those legs out. Now we're gonna go up into a pike. All right, so we're gonna go up, and hold right there and then transition back down. For God called you to do good, right? Even when it means suffering, do the right thing. And God will definitely help you do the right thing, right? Just as Jesus Christ suffered for you, and we all have seasons of suffering, right? Trials and tribulation, those challenging times, just suffering, but God is right there and he will help you and sustain you. One more. 
and then lower it down. Let's transition to the knee and bring the hand directly under the shoulder. This opposite hand can go right out here. If you're gonna lift and lower, just easy now with that leg. Just reach it and extend it, or this arm can go way up. You can hold right there. By grace, you have been saved through faith, right? And this is not our own doing, right? It's a gift from God. Our salvation is a gift from God. It really is. God gives us grace every single day. He forgives us every single day as we confess our sins to Him, right? And it's a gift. All right, feel that extension through your leg. Get that arms up, feel that reach. One more. Now let's transition all the way down to the floor. You can either go to the forearm or all the way down. Bring the legs out in front of you. And you're gonna bring the right knee in and then lift up. You can come all the way down if you want. And be real careful. Be real controlled in your movements. Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Be steady, right? Don't let the wind blow you all over the place. You stand your ground in your faith. And God's there to strengthen you and help you. All right, feeling this all through the leg here. The core has to do a great job of engaging and holding position as this leg is doing its thing. And one more. Now what we're gonna do with this leg is bring it back behind us. I'm gonna come on up on the forearm and just lift and lower. Flex that foot. I really wanna engage the thigh muscles so Flexing the foot helps do that. Now, when you're up like this, make sure the shoulder is pressed down, that you're not sinking down into it. And really stretch that leg out away from you. Speak the truth. And when we do speak, speak in love, right? Growing in every way more and more like Christ Jesus. So we have to be real mindful in how we present what we're saying to someone, right? Speak in love. God will help you do that. Pray about it before you speak. If you're supposed to speak to someone and it may be a serious issue, just ask God to help you with your words and bring it in love, right? All right, one more. Now we're going to transition and bring the legs out. We're gonna go up into a forearm plank. So if you wanna modify this, just stack the knees and the legs and come up. If you wanna progress, go ahead, stagger the legs, place the hands on the hip. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower down through the hip and lift right back up. You can bring the arm up if you want or keep the hand on the hip. Train yourself, right? We are warriors in training for Christ. Train yourself for godliness. A little bit of exercise is good for the body. Spiritual training is everything for the body, right? All right, lower down, lift. Feeling this through the obliques and the hips. You're doing good. Just keep it going. Go at your pace and at your level. Just a few more times and one more. Nice. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies with more Pilates exercises. Let's go ahead and transition to the opposite side on the knee. Place that hand directly under the shoulder, hand on the hip. Go ahead, lift and lower. So you're gonna exhale on that lift, inhale as you lower. Again, this arm can go way up if you want or hand can stay on the hip. The Lord himself, he goes before us, all right? He's with us, isn't that amazing? The Lord goes before us, okay? He's got everything planned out. We just need to follow him and follow his lead and ask him, be prayerful about that and ask the Lord about what's going on. All right, keep moving. 
Last one. Go ahead and transition all the way down. And you can go to the forearm or you can go all the way down to the mat. We're gonna bring the knee in and then extend the leg back up, okay? So working with this leg, working on stability, and working on knee strength, really. A lot of that with the straight leg. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and by petition and with thanksgiving, that's real important, present your request to God, right? So thank God in advance, right? And uh, thank Him for answering your prayers and just expect great things, all right? God is a great God. He is mighty. He is sovereign, and He will help with anything and everything. One more of these. Now that top lay, we're going to bring it back. We're going to transition to the forearm, or you can stay down. We're going to lift this bottom leg, flex that foot, really engaging these inner thigh muscles. So pull in through the belly and extend out through that leg. And the peace of God, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So do you feel a little off center today? Do you need to get back on track with the Lord? We all go through dry seasons, but God is right there with you. Even if you don't feel Him, be faithful in your prayer time. Be faithful in reading His Word and just trusting Him. All right, feeling this pretty strong in those inner thighs. And last one. All right, now we're gonna transition. The modification for the forearm um, side plank is the knees are bent and they're stacked, okay? To progress, bring those legs out from the hips, stagger the legs, and then come up. Hand can be placed on the hip if you want. Now you can choose just to hold right here, or you can do that hip lift where you lower and lift. That arm can come up or can stay positioned on the hip. The Lord is my light. He's my light and my salvation, right? So why should I be afraid? The Lord is our light and our salvation. All right, feeling this strong in the obliques and through those thighs, also feeling this in the shoulders and you're breathing from the diaphragm. You're focused in on what you're doing. Last one and lower down. Now on this one, we're gonna go back on the forearms. Make sure you're okay with this, okay? Shoulders are down so you're not sinking in between the shoulders. You go up into a tabletop position, hold your position, start to just tap down one foot at a time. Just tap it down. If you need to lie all the way down, you can do that as well, okay? For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of you, your right hand, and the Lord says to us, do not fear, I will help you. That's why I talk about the Lord helping us so much. It's all throughout His Word. And I remind myself, Teresa, you're not in this alone. God is right there for you, and He will help you. You just need to let that thing go. Stop worrying about it, and trust God. All right, a few more of these. I kind of like these toe taps. Really engaging that core. And last one. All right, extend your legs out, flex your feet. Again, if you need to go all the way down, you just do that, okay? We're gonna bring the legs out for two and then bring them in. Really working those outer and inner thighs. And exhale on the way out. Inhale in. I will fear no evil, right? For God is with me. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. They always do, so we will not fear. And that's why I talk about fear a lot, to remind us that God is with us. There's no reason to fear. When you know that you know God is with you and He's helping you, He's got it all planned out. Again, feeling this a lot in the thighs, outer thighs a lot here. 
All right, one more. Now let's transition. We're going to go into a high plank. And so we're gonna go back and place the hands under the shoulders. Step back and hold your position. If you need to modify, just come down on the knees. But I'm gonna come up and what I'm gonna do is pulse one leg back lower and then switch out, pulse the other leg back. Cast all your anxiety on the Lord because he cares for you so much. Again, pulsing, breathing, keeping that bottom down, feeling that extension through your legs, your torso, and your spine. Working on core strength, working on strength through the upper and the lower body, all at the same time. One more each leg. Last one. Nice job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies and hearts for God's purposes on Shape by Faith. Let's go ahead and transition all the way down to the floor, going into the number one exercise to flatten the stomach, the crisscross. So to modify it, you're gonna cross over and bring the elbow to the knee. To progress, one leg goes out, you're gonna cross over and then alternate, all right? So do whichever one is best for you. God has not given us a spirit of fear, right? But of power and love and sound mind. And discipline goes along with that one, right? So God has given us a spirit of love, power, sound mind, to discipline these bodies for his purposes. One more, go ahead and draw the knees in. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Bring the legs and arms out and bring them back around. To modify arms, legs straight up, circle below those shoulders back up. To progress, circle wide with those arms and bring the legs down lower. He who dwells in the shelter of the most high God will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Isn't that beautiful? Poetry for the soul and the spirit. Abiding in the shadow of the Most High God. All right, feeling this strongly in your core and in those legs and upper body. Just do the best you can do here, bringing the navel towards the spine all right, a few more of these. Feeling this strong in your legs, core. One more, and last one. Go into a tabletop position. So what we're gonna do on this one is bring the legs over to one side, hold your position, bring the legs back up to tabletop, and bring them to the opposite side, and then back up. And then we're gonna add a little toe tap right here just because it's fun and then go back to the other side, right? You know, the enemy of our soul, the thief, only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came to bring us abundant life, right? I love that one. Jesus came to bring us abundant life. Tap down, and then go back to that knee drop, working through the obliques, just side to side, and again, really feeling that nice control through your powerhouse and tap it down. Nice. Okay, this next one, place the hands directly behind the head. So what we're gonna do, this is a butterfly stretch. You're gonna keep your feet together, bring the knees out, bring them back in, okay? So bring them out and then do a nice little crunch as you come up, okay? I kind of call this one the butterfly crunch, all right? Humble yourselves, right? Humble yourselves before the Lord. Resist the enemy of your soul, that is Satan, and he will flee from you. That's what the Word of God says. Humble yourselves before the Lord. Resist the enemy, and he will flee, right? All right, keep going. Crunch and feel that in your core, feel that in your outer thighs. 
And again, just do the best you can with this one. You're doing fantastic. And one more. Bring your arms beside you. Now, if you need to rest the legs a little bit, just place the feet down. You can come up, look towards your legs, start to pump those arms down. This is called the hundred. So pump the arms, pull the belly in. We're gonna do a combo, a single leg stretch with this one. So now let's go into single leg stretch, alternating those legs one at a time. The head can stay all the way down or it can stay up. The Lord is our hiding place and our shield. And we hope in his word. Go back to the hundred, pump those arms down. Again, the feet can stay down if you need them there. And the head can go all the way back down. Go into single leg stretch. Here's a modified single leg stretch. Legs are higher. You can also lift up and lower the legs. Let's go back to the hundred. Just pump those arms, navel to the spine. You're doing fantastic. Keep it going. Breathe. And then single leg. All right, last one. Draw the knees in for a little back stretch here. Love this stretch. Then bring both legs up. Now what I'm gonna do is place the hands under the hips. Heels together, do some small leg circles in one direction. Be real mindful of the stretch and feeling this all through the legs and the glutes. Go the opposite direction. Good. You know, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ Jesus, right? Go the opposite direction, really working through that extension, strengthening the legs, strengthening the hips and the thighs. Go the opposite direction. Breathing deep, inhale and exhale. Just reach as far as you can through the legs and then switch it around. All right, last one. Draw the knees in. Very nice. I wanna thank you so much for allowing me in your home today. I hope you are motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best that you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and our hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us, right? And He breathed His Holy Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, Born for a Time Such as This, Prayer, Coffee, Workout, Love One Another, and Fear Not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts, tanks, and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shape by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.